Well, as you mentioned, Beverly Hills certainly not immune to the spike in violent crime. They've had cameras for uh, years, but now what they're doing is a bit of a change in technology and philosophy. They're not just recording the video feeds, they plan to be monitoring them live. Welcome to Beverly Hills. If you don't mind being surveilled, recorded, and watched by a growing network of video cameras, license plate readers, even drones. The mayor who grew up here is sending a clear message. The message is if you're a criminal, if you're looking to do a criminal activity in Beverly Hills, think again, pick a different city because we will catch you and most likely we're going to catch you in the act. That's because the city's improving its technology, transitioning from recording video, which helps solve armed robberies like this, where a half million dollar watch was stolen and a bystander wounded by gunfire, to live monitoring of all the feeds in what police call their real time watch center under construction in the administration building. Absolutely, because now we're allowing, uh, you know, the opportunity to interdict criminality before it happens. Where before, you know, I hate to see any of our residents become victims of crime um, if we can stop any of those in advance. But there's always a trade off. More cameras can mean less privacy. I talked about it with resident Ellie Cheveria. I believe it is for safety, but I, I, I guess you just said adding more cameras, that's a, that's a bit extreme. Police and the mayor stress all cameras are in public places, always have been. And in a city almost 80% white, as today's LA Times pointed out, there have long been allegations that police target blacks and Latinos here, that more cameras will result in more of a focus on those perceived as outsiders. Allegations the mayor and chief strongly deny. We focus on criminal behavior. And if people are committing crimes, I want it to be on video so I can show people what they're doing, um, regardless of their race. Live monitoring of uh, video feeds, uh, Alex, and, uh, Alex and Christine, of course, is expensive. The city of Los Angeles has it, um, but Beverly Hills, of course, is one of the locations that can afford it. The cameras are virtually everywhere, and you really can't come in or out of this city right now without being recorded one way or another.